Sasha Banks makes her New Japan Pro Wrestling debut at Wrestle Kingdom 17 confronting Kyrie. And Kenny Omega wins the IWGP United States title. PW Insider reports that William Regal is officially back with WWE. And Josh Alexander sets record for becoming the longest reigning Impact Wrestling World Champion. Hey there, everyone. You're watching the latest here on F4W Online. I'm Denise Salcedo, and we're going to go ahead and kick off this video with Sasha Banks making her debut at New Japan Pro Wrestling's Wrestle Kingdom 17. Here's what went down. Sasha Banks made her debut at New Japan Pro Wrestling's Wrestle Kingdom 17 event Wednesday morning, laying out Kyrie and challenging her to a match for next month in San Jose. After Kyrie defeated Tom Nakano to retain the IWGP, Women's Championship, Banks came out using the name Mercedes Monet. She at first congratulated Kyrie and offered to shake her hand. It was a trap, however, as Mercedes laid her out. She then took a microphone and said that she is here in New Japan and stardom to make more history and called herself the CEO of the women's division. She promised to take the title from Kyrie at New Japan's Battle in the Valley, which takes place in San Jose on February 18th. It was reported in recent weeks weeks that Mercedes would become a free agent at the start of 2023. She was indefinitely suspended by WWE last May after she and Naomi walked out prior to an episode of WWE Raw. As a result, they were both suspended and stripped of the WWE Women's Tag Team titles. Negotiations between Mercedes and WWE for a return began after Vince McMahon left WWE in July. However, it was reported that WWE and Mercedes were very far apart on money. She also has new merchandise up for sale shortly after her appearance. A pro wrestling tea store with t-shirts and other merchandise was launched online. And more from Wrestle Kingdom, Kenny Omega is once again the IWGP United States Champion. Omega defeated Will Ospreay to win the title for a second time in an intense, bloody back and forth match. This is Omega's second run with the championship, becoming the inaugural champion back in 2017. Osprey's reign with the title ended after over 200 days, originally winning the vacant title by pinning Sonata at Dominion back on June 12. And a new report says that William Regal has officially returned to WWE in an official capacity. According to a report from PW Insider, the 54-year-old is back with the company as of this morning. His return comes almost one year to the day that he had been released from WWE on January 5th, 2022. Regal is said to be a vice president in WWE, although his actual job title has not yet been revealed. His previous title with the company had been WWE Director of talent development and head of global recruiting. Regal had been with AEW since Revolution on March 6, 2022, up until he officially announced his departure on December 30th, 2022. Tony Khan revealed the details behind Regal's AEW release during an ROH Final Battle press conference on December 12th, noting that Regal had asked for his contract to not be renewed at the end of the year, so he can go back to WWE and work and spend his golden years with his son and longtime friends. Regal, of course, thanked AEW and the Blackpool Combat Club for the time he spent with them. And in other news, Josh Alexander becomes the longest reigning Impact World Champion. He claimed the title on April 23rd, 2022 at the Rebellion pay-per-view defeating Moose. He has now been the world champion for 257 consecutive days, surpassing Bobby Roode's 256-day world championship run that started on October 26, 2011. There have been 32 wrestlers to hold the Impact Wrestling World Championship, dating back to Kurt Angle in 2007. Alexander has been the world champion for a combined 258 days, including his brief title run after the 2021 Bound for Glory event. And those combined 250 days as world champion rank Alexander number six all time. Kurt Angle is the leader with a combined 608 days as world champion in his six title reigns. The 35-year-old Josh Alexander made his pro wrestling debut back in 2005 and was signed by Impact in early 2019. 
He has been the Impact X Division Champion and is a two-time Impact World Tag Team Champion as the North. Josh Alexander had four hours and 16 minutes total worth of world title matches in Impact for the year 2022, with an average world title match length of 25 minutes and 37 seconds. And that's your daily news roundup for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, I invite you all to check out my show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, where I'm live here on F4W Online, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Catch you on the next vid.